Hello and welcome back to Hydroset Info. In this video I will show you how to fix the battery drain on Samsung Galaxy A17. Let's begin! So, there are a couple of ways in which you can extend your battery life and we have a full tutorial on that if you are interested in it. But this is a short version of the tutorial and basically it boils down to a few very simple things. And the most simplest of them is to simply head into the settings. Well, let's simply restart the settings. And inside here we want to scroll down, head into battery and just enable power saving. That's right, this will increase your battery life tremendously. And this is because if we go into the power saving itself, we know exactly what it does and we can go over all of them in this video. So, limit CPU speed to 70% is pretty self-explanatory. We can enable it and our phone will get... will be a little bit lower. But for normal users that doesn't really change anything, unless you are a gamer. In that case, that CPU limit is probably pretty bad, so we want to disable that. Anyway, then we have decreased brightness by 10%. This is very good, but we can take it even further by just expanding a control center and lowering the brightness here. I'm not going to lower it too much because then the video is unwatchable, literally. But generally speaking, the lower the brightness, the lower battery usage. Then we have set motion smoothness to standard. Now this is not self-explanatory, but this basically means that if we would go to display and we have our not easy mode, not screen saver here, no, sorry, not here, motion smoothness. And this basically means the frame rate. So by default, if we have power saving enabled, we are automatically changing uh, to 60 base frame rate and not high, because with high you have 90 Hz of frame rate. Anyway, we can now head into the other part, which is in the battery, power saving. We also have dark mode, and dark mode is pretty cool, because most phones nowadays are based on OLED displays, and all the displays works pretty similarly to typical display. Like, the brighter the pixel, the more energy it requires to actually display itself, so we can see it. So, naturally, if you have less brighter pixels and more darker pixels, you need to use less battery. This is because this feature, dark mode, is by default in the power saving by itself, which is all pretty cool. We, all know, we also have set screen timeout to 30 seconds. I think that this is pretty self-explanatory. Many people actually have it set up to like 2 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever. You will notice that even I, while talking, I'm actually a victim of that <laughs> feature, but in reality it is really helpful for you since whenever you accidentally lose your phone on, it won't keep on itself, it will just turn itself off pretty fast, which is pretty cool. And lastly we technically have limit apps and home screen, which is like this ultimate option. In order to enable it you want to disable the power saving and now enable this one and only then you can enable power saving here and this basically means that our phone turns into I don't want to say useless brick but it will lose almost all of its features as you can see we only have phone messages gallery and settings and only four other slots for different applications it is pretty extreme but it does help you extend your battery life so I will now just exit it, you can exit it by here and I will make sure to disable it from the power saving setting so we can go into battery, power saving, and maybe let's disable that and lastly as a nice little way for you to fix the battery drain especially when the battery is already low we can head into our modes and routines now we can go into routine and I will uh, like create a full tutorial for modes and routines on this phone, but just so you know, you want to simply go into plus. Let's go into if. We can start and search for battery. So we have battery level. We can go with if the battery level is below, let's say, 35%. Then we can go with power saving. 
And simply let's enable it. And now we can save it. We can set change it to battery level. Let's change it to the red color. And maybe we let's give it some battery icon, which we have right here. So let's head down. And now we have an automatic routine that will automatically enable the powered saving options whenever we drop below 35%. Now, all, now this is basically all you want to do in order to extend your battery life and fix the battery drain. There's also other things I didn't talk about, like you can turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can clear your phone from some useless applications that work in the background, but if you want to learn more about that, you can you just can watch my video on how to extend battery life on Samsung Galaxy A17. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.